Breaking into the puzzling platformer genre of game just behind Celeste, Hollow Knight, and Seasons After Fall is Evergate, the only game PewDiePie really can't ever play because of the premise. You're dead. One death. Already dead. Whatever you did in life doesn't matter, you have no memory of it. In fact, that's a huge part of the game from what I can tell so far. You need to recover your lost memories and remember just who you are. Created by Stone Lantern Games, Evergate is scheduled to release in the later months of 2019. They have released a demo so far and I was given the chance to test it out. With that in mind, let's review what I've seen so far. The mechanics of the game are a mix between platformer and super hot, super hot, super hot, super hot. When you click, time slows significantly, enabling you to fall and fire your energy blast wherever you want to, as long as the blast is reflected onto a white surface. Some of those surfaces are destructible, some are movable, depending on what you hit in between the surface. So far, there's only been a swap and a blast movement that has been introduced, but I can imagine the developer has much more in store for us, and that isn't just judging from the trailer. Unfortunately, the demo is fairly short. So short, in fact, that it has speedrun capabilities built right into the demo. This is my first run when I was learning about the game, and this is my second run once I figured out what to do. You can tell Stone Lantern has a story it wants to tell, and that makes a world of difference in the quality of a finished game. Some games are just about the money grab, and this doesn't seem to be that way. From the qualities of the game so far, you can tell where they're placing the majority of their time into. The level design and puzzle mechanics seem to have gotten the most love, while the interactive enemies, while cool and stylized, seem pretty static once they have to interact away from their idle animations, particularly the double crows section in the demo. There is a 3 to 4 frame transition of opening the wings, and then a still image moving across the screen, followed by an opacity filter on the black streaks. This might come off as a stylized look, and that might be what they're going for, but it seems a bit like a cover. These blackbirds could have an intimidating premise, a frightening force for the environment, like the third crow does, but they do not. I think from what we've seen so far, you can really glimpse onto what to expect with the rest of the game. The mechanics and interactive enemies will probably be trigger-based and very simple. Programming, movement-based AI probably isn't the forte of the team, whereas the environment and puzzles will be spectacular. It seems like a good game so far, and it definitely is something to keep on your radar if you enjoy this genre of game. That's all for today's demo review of Evergate. Make sure to keep your eyes open for the full release of the game. Thanks for watching, stay tried, true and trunky, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!